Welcome to the project demonstration of Smart IoT Water Quality Monitoring System. So here we are going to monitor the water quality parameters like turbidity of the water and the pH and the humidity uh, temperature by using this DHT11 sensor and CO that is the carbon monoxide uh, levels with the help of this MQ2 sensor and this total 5 parameters humidity temperature CO in ppm parts per million and turbidity in NNTU and pH values. These 5 parameters will be displayed continuously on the LCD screen as well as we are going to send the same data of these parameters to the ThinkSpeak cloud storage. So after logging to the ThinkSpeak go to my channels and there click on that uh, smart water quality monitoring system in that private view. So this is the previous data which we received while uh, executing previously. So now if you want to get the new data and if you want to erase that before erasing you can download this. So for downloading the data just go to data import and exports and there we can download the data. After downloading the data we can get the uh, CSV file. You can open that in uh, Excel sheet and there we get the entry IDs. So the entry ID is like at which we receive the data date and uh, first one is going to be the entry id second one is uh, ph and then turbidity and then uh, humidity temperature and finally its ppm of co levels so next so next then after uh, downloading the data So now go to next is channel settings. So only go to these settings only data import export, uh, export to download the data and go to channel settings in that only do clear channel don't delete channel. Okay. So clear the channel. Okay. So I am repeating that don't delete the channel and after then again just go to private view. So there we can see the, the total whole data got erased and now before switching on this kit we need to do one more step is go to hotspot settings of your phone change the hotspot name to project 4969 and a password should be 12345689 after these settings enable the hotspot along with data okay. And then uh, go to the no, no, Google Chrome. Right. Right. So now keep on the screen and now provide the power supply. So remember before switching on the screen, enable the hotspots and data and then give the power supply to the gauge. So this adapter will take 230 volts input and will provide as a constant power supply of 5 volts and that will be given to this breadboard. So here is uh, using this PCB as a breadboard in order to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules along with Arduino Uno. So here we have interfaced the pH sensor at A0 pin, DHT11 at 10th pin and CO sensor at A2 pin sorry A1 pin and turbidity at A2 pin, LCD at pin number 22, pin number 7, Wi-Fi module at pin number 8 and 9. So there is a interfacing connections between the input and outputs and now switch on the power supply to the cage. So once we switch on the cage, so then there will be a welcome message on the LCD screen and the system will be paid to your mobile phone. So the system will upload the parameters to the ThinkSpeak in a duration of 12 to 15 seconds. Because the thing, thing speak can accept only uh, interval of 15 seconds maximum, sorry minimum also. Okay, so wait for the duration and till that let me explain you the uh, like flow, like uh, the turbidity as you know that it will work based on the water transparency and pH is based on the, right, so we got the data. So when we click on this, we will get the data value and the parameter date and time. So it will keep on uploading that. So now we will place the pH sensor inside the water. Now it is initially showing us zero. Right. 
displace the turbidity in water so it will take more time for stabilization along with ph and turbidity also let it settle down so we'll get the data and coming to the smoke also right so we are just showing this there we can see the co value on the lcd it will keep on increasing so now it's 632 pm sorry ppm that's a parts per million so when there is no smoke content then it will be decreased so we will get the same data here right the turbidity comes down to normal and uh, next humidity and temperature and the ppm value right so the ppm got increased as we show the smoke here so at one time only it will not upload so till 15 to 20 seconds keep the smoke on this near the sensor then we will get the data to be uploaded the same parameters okay